the natural log. Hi. So you're like, great. I am just starting to get this log stuff. And now you're doing something called the natural log. Or on your calculator, it says LN button. It's another one. You're like, hey, I've seen that on my calculator. Don't even ever use it. The difference between this, this is called lawn, like, you know, lawn, your grass, L-A-W-N, it's pronounced. That's how it's pronounced, okay? It's your lawn button. So your log button means that is log base 10 of some number, okay? The lawn button, that's really log base E of some number. And you're like, oh great, E. So what is E? <clears throat> so E is something that you may have seen in your chemistry courses already. Okay? It is, it's kind of like pi. It's not a letter. It, I mean, it is a letter. It's E. But it represents a number that's always the same. And I put it down there, you know, 2.718, 28, 18, 28, 45, 90, 45, 5. You're like, well, whatever. But it's like pi, it's a non-terminal, non-repeating decimal, but it doesn't change, okay? So E is like, it's this number, this long decimal number. It's used, it's commonly found in growth and decay problems. The really nice thing is, okay, you don't need to do anything special with it. In the next few slides, all we're going to do in this course is we're going to look at growth and decay problems, okay? And it may use this E, okay? But you directly need to substitute, and you'll see it in the next few slides, you're not going to need to do anything fancy with the natural log. We just want to show you it exists to get into growth and decay problems. So don't be stressed about it. You're not going to need to do anything crazy with it. We'll see you in the next slide.